Carrie and Jen here from Homestead Hound Healing Humanity. You're looking good today, Jen. How are you feeling? I feel great, Carrie. We did a video in this very vehicle a while ago, and it was titled, this is where you talk. I'm trying to remember. 10 Unexpected Benefits of the, the Carnivore, carnivore diet. diet. There we go. See, I'm helping. And it was a big hit, and we just kept rambling and rambling, and we there's like a never-ending list of unexpected benefits of carnivore diet. So we figured, let's do that again. Let's expand on that list. Let's have a little chat. It's beautiful out. If you can see behind us, the trees are turning orange and yellow and red. Fall is upon us. Jen, why don't we quickly recap our carnivore stories? All right. Ladies first. Yes. For those of you just joining us or don't know me or... Whatever. My name is Jen. I am a carnivore. I've been carnivore for over 200 days. I feel great. Before then, I was a vegetarian, which was a bad mistake. I was overweight my whole life. I was extremely unhealthy. I have had my gallbladder taken out. Um, I am since down 40 pounds and so many inches. I can't even tell you. My pant size have gone down. My shirt size has gone down. My brain fog is gone. Um, my fatigue is gone. I have lots of energy. I would not be talking to you guys right now. That's the number one thing right now is I would just be off camera. I wouldn't want to be on camera. I just want to tell everybody my story, how much I lost, my journey that I'm on. And I'm not on this journey to lose weight. Yes, it's great because I have a long way to go, but it's all the other things. It's the, the ant flow that I get every month. It's the brain fog that I don't have anymore. It's the energy that has totally uplifted. Um, I wasn't on any medication, but I was on a lot of Tylenol or ibuprofen, Advil, whatever for my ant flow. I since starting carnivore- Ant flow is PMS for those that don't know. I don't like saying it, yes. All right, so, uh, for the couple of months that I've been doing carnivore, I have not had to take any ibuprofen, Tylenol, anything for my ant flow, my PMS, okay? And it's been a lot better for me. Um, so that is my story. I will let Carrie tell you. Everybody probably knows Carrie, but if he doesn't. And Jen has reverted back to the person that I married. That we, Jen and I have been together since age 14. We're coming up on 30 years. And when you were 14, you were kind of more a proper human diet. And then we started eating junk food and we got our driver's license and we started just going out to eat and eating horrible. And then we got bigger and bigger and fatter and fatter. And then we lost weight and gained weight and lost weight and gained weight. You are full energy now. Your monthly PMS, whatever, amp flow as you call it, is a million times better because she was wrecked and you're full of energy and you haven't been sick in 200 days. No, I haven't even thought about that. No, I have not. Well, let's jump into that in a second. I'll get mine real quick. I, you guys already know this, so I'm gonna go real quick. I'm down 100 pounds since my heaviest. I had horrible depression and anxiety that is completely gone. I was diagnosed with IBS, sleep apnea. I was using a CPAP machine. I had arthritis in my foot. I had multiple kidney stones. I had my gallbladder removed. I had my appendix burst on an operating room table. I was diagnosed with congestive heart failure and I had a lifelong irregular heartbeat. I was depressed and I was sick of being sick and I found carnivore and all of those things, including 15 medications that I was on at one time are gone. I am on zero zero medications i don't snore anymore quick interruption did you know we have an incredible membership site for you called healinghumanity.life we have a special offer going on right now learn more at the link in the description we have courses we have expert q a's with the good doctors we even have a healing humanity heroes zoom call once a week highlighting real heroes that will inspire you on a path to healing. The community is wonderful. We're going to be implementing a buddy system so you can be held accountable, recipes, all sorts of great stuff to help you on a path to healing. Learn more at the link in the description below. I feel cheated and I'm mad about it and what I'm feeling now isn't some elevated level due to the fact that I'm eating meat. What I'm feeling now is how every 44 year old would feel if they were behaving like a proper human, like I'm behaving. If they were eating proper human foods and they weren't putting their bodies into states of chronic systemic 
inflammation, which by the way, leads to every single disease, every single major disease, I should say, that we fear. Type two diabetes, heart disease, strokes, dementia, Alzheimer's, cancer, those are all stages of chronic inflammation. And, sorry, I'm rambling now. And the majority of this planet, over 90% of people right now are walking around with poor metabolic health. The majority of this planet are inflamed. And why are they inflamed, Jen? Because they eat the wrong way. They're eating foods that are highly inflammatory for months and years and decades and decades, and they think it's normal. Yes, yeah, so talking about inflammation, that was my big thing that I reversed. Okay, so let's go, wait, let's go right here. So the, the title of the video is Unexpected Benefits of Carnivore. Yes. Jen's gonna go with her, one of her first unexpected benefits of carnivore. Really, seriously, unexpected. So if you might know, you might not know. We have four children, we actually have triplets. I carry triplets for seven and a half months. A little early, but they were triplets. Weeks. Yes. So um, my inflammation really flew up from there, from having the triplets, but I've always had inflammation and it was terrible. I had a hard time walking. My feet were swollen. My ankles were swollen. When I was pregnant with the triplets, I looked like Shrek, like literally. Now I can go back and actually say it. My legs were huge. They were big stumps, as he calls them. Uh, no longer, no more. They're they're almost the actual size. I went to doctors over and over and over. For years! There's nothing you can do. Take this medication, take that medication. Uh, nothing is gonna reverse compression this. Compression socks. Oh yeah, compression socks. Water like pills. Person. Do all this, but nothing's ever gonna reverse it, right? No, okay, whatever. They don't tell you the diet. Maybe t try taking away the fats. Maybe try taking away the sugars. Maybe try eating more meat. They didn't say that. I did that. What happened? I reversed it. My stumps have gone away. <laughs> you know, we joke about it, but for those watching, think about going through your life for 17 years, imagine your own legs right now, and then imagine you take a hose and you just fill them up to maximum capacity with fluid and they're hard as a rock and sore and, and, sore. Red, and hard to painful. walk on yes for and 17 for, years and, yeah because the triplets are 17 yes i i've had that pretty much my whole life so i mean yes i reversed that so for doctors not to tell you that or somebody personal might say oh it's not reversible yes it actually is you need to give it a try you need to give it 30 days and try that's what i did i said i'm going to try carnivore for 30 days and we'll see what happens now so, it's past 200 days and I'm still going. So you that did, is my number one. I have a lot more to go. You did not expect going into carnivore that your legs and the swollenness would heal. You're going into carnivore, oh, maybe I can lose some weight. Maybe I can overcome a couple other things. And so that's Jen's number one unexpected benefit of carnivore. My, one of my unexpected benefits of carnivore was inflammation. And when I say inflammation, I mean inflammation to the to the factor that we don't even realize as humans because it's become normalized because I suffered from this inflammation for so long. The very first one being, I stopped snoring right away on carnivore diet. Dr. Jordan Peterson said this on Joe Rogan. He stopped snoring the first week on carnivore diet and I have since talked to so many people that stopped snoring. And that snoring from, Jen stopped snoring also. That's one of your unexpected benefits. Mm -hmm. That snoring wasn't because I was overweight or Dr. Jordan Peterson or Jen was overweight. I thought I snored because I was too fat. That's what my sleep doctor told me. And my neck was huge and, and maybe that contributed to it slightly. But I didn't lose a pound and I stopped snoring. So you can't blame it on the weight. I did not lose a single pound of weight and I stopped snoring. Jordan Peterson didn't lose a single pound of weight the first week on carnivore that caused him to stop snoring. It was inflammation. Your airway, your esophagus, your tongue. That little airway, if it restricts even just a tiny bit, if you run the math on the flow, the airflow that flows through there, it makes a huge difference. And you can start snoring from that inflammation. Point being, the majority of humanity that snores, I think a large part of it is inflammation, which is so easily reversible. For years, Jen, I suffered with this stupid CPAP machine. I, I, so did I. <laughs> she suffered with it, I suffered with it. I couldn't sleep, put big marks on my face. You can't roll over, it's so uncomfortable, it's so unnatural. And just think of this, Jen, think of this. I had to take a device and pump air pressure into my airways just so that I could beep. So our phone just overheated, so we're gonna continue one cut, no edit. So I was just saying, it's incredible, inflammation going away. I stopped snoring, I had pain in my lower back, I had pain in this elbow that I just, 
this pain in my lower back I thought was just there since high school because of an injury. It was just inflammation and I've heard that from so many people. Your next one. All right, sorry guys. Okay, I call ant flow, it's PMS. It's, women get it monthly, it's a natural thing. Uh, I don't ever like to talk about it for the ones that are suffering with it or the husbands that might have wives that are suffering from it. Uh, serious topic, really. So I've had my period since I was 11 and I'm 44 now. So I've been having it for that many years. I've been suffering every single year for the last how many years because I didn't know any better. Not the normal PMS suffering that most women go through. Right, it's terrible. It's Yours is way worse. Well, I'm sure there's a lot of women out there that have the same issues, but I had hot, either headaches or migraines probably 20 days out of the month, and especially when my PMS came around every month, it was even worse. It was unbearable migraines. It wasn't a headache, it was a total migraine. I went to the doctors, they didn't tell me what to do. They said, just take this medicine, take this medicine, take this, take that. I tried everything, nothing helped. I would sleep, I would have you know the lights off, I'd have a hot washcloth on my face. Nothing helped, it was absolutely awful. When I found the carnivore diet over 200 days ago, what happened? My period is lighter. My, um, and I'm talking, I'm sorry, I'm talking about flow-wise, my period's lighter. My mood is better, right? Okay, so my, my mood is a lot better. Um, it, it doesn't hurt as much as it did before. I mean, it was very painful. Um, you men, you can skip all this. Uh, but for the women out there, seriously. No, men, tell your wife about this. My daughter, which we did a video on this, our daughter uh, had excruciating periods. She started extremely early at nine. And it, it nothing of her fault or our uh, Well, yes, the foods that we were giving her, yes, that was our fault. She was healthy, but she had bad uh, periods. So I took her into the doctor. Of course, what did they tell you? Get on the pill. Get on the pill. Okay, well, when I think of the pill, it's not like a sex it's it's more for birth it's more for your period hormones i was i was like i really don't want to put her on it what else can i do and they're like really nothing else you guys might know the story uh we almost lost her a couple years ago physically almost lost her a couple years ago she was on the pill for maybe six months to a year i don't remember how long it was that one percent chance that's out there that something might happen they might have a blood clot that you might react to it uh, badly she was the one percent she had a blood clot Again, the doctors play a part in this. Her leg hurt. She complained to me and said, my leg hurts. I didn't know what that was. I took her to the doctor. The doctor said, it's nothing. Don't worry about it. It's just growing pain. And then maybe a month later, she was in uh, the house, in the bathroom, taking a shower. She screams for me, mom, 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 I need you. I ran in there really quick. I'm not going to go into the whole story because I'm going to start bawling. I couldn't catch her fast enough. She fell to the ground and she passed out. Her face was pure white like a ghost. Her lips were blue. I couldn't feel her breathing. I could hardly feel her pulse. My point to this whole thing is, is it's so effed up because I'm getting pissed now because the doctors were just like, it's okay. Just put her on the, put her on a birth control pill. There's nothing else you can do. Ever, all the kids are getting at it now. Yes. All the teenagers are now. They're, exactly. The periods are just crazy. They're getting them younger and well, younger. And younger, and younger. It'll help with their hormones. Yes. It's, it's it's fine. It's fine. It's not a big deal. It's the biggest mistake we ever made. And your point is, had she been eating a proper human diet, her periods would have been fine. They would have been fine. She almost she died because of the medication. At a later age, uh, nine is absolutely ridiculous. I thought I was young with eleven. So my point is, is, is before you go ahead and put your kid or put yourself on a medication, look into carnivore diet. I promise you, talk to other women on the carnivore diet. It has completely changed my life around. And just real quick, our daughter Lily, some of you heard this story. She's 19 now. She went on carnivore with me almost 600 days ago because she had HS, this horrible skin condition. And it, it went away. After five years of suffering this horrible skin condition, taking her to all these dermatologists, pills, injections, shots, creams, everything, none of them ever mentioned nutrition. Lily went on carnivore and her HS went away, 30 days on carnivore diet, it was almost completely gone. Her hormones all improved, her mood improved, she had a big smile on her face, you could just tell. Uh, it's crazy, it's absolutely crazy. So, your long story short, PMS, ant flow. A thousand times. You never, you never would have imagined that. When she says she had it bad too, it was literally like 20 days. And near the end, if I'm being honest, while I was doing carnivore for a very long time while you were not doing it, 
I started to get to the point where you would have your period and it would be horrible and painful and I'd feel bad for you, but then I would say, well, wait a minute, you're eating carbs and you're eating junk food and you're eating stuff that's perpetuating that problem. In other words, you're causing that to happen. So I can't continue to feel sorry for you when you're perpetuating the problem I, by the foods you're eating. I wasn't willing to change. So that was a big, big, big unexpected benefit of carnivore. Yes. Uh, another, uh, here's a new unexpected benefit that I had, didn't talk about in the last video Jen and I did. Healing your gut health. Now, some of you may have heard about this. I've done uh, a couple videos with Molly and I've been learning more about our gut health and how important it is. All disease begins in the gut, including depression, anxiety. Serotonin is made in the gut. It's not made in the brain. There's a huge connection between the gut and the brain. And one thing that happens unexpected for almost every single person that does a carnivore diet is you are healing your gut. And I believe it is an epidemic what is going on in humanity. All of humanity's guts are completely destroyed from glyphosate, from forever chemicals, from pesticides, from highly inflammatory foods, from sugars, things that we were never intended to eat. The gut becomes permeable and it leaks and that stuff gets into the bloodstream and it affects your mood, it affects your immune system, it affects depression, it affects anxiety, it weakens your immune system and you get you get sick way easier. And when you eat a carnivore diet, you are healing your gut. I, that is almost universal. Everyone, I really believe that, everyone doing carnivore diet, they say, oh, I healed this, I healed that, I healed this. Most people heal their guts and they don't even realize that they're healing it. Another thing that a lot of people heal that they don't realize is their liver. Um, that's another story. Fatty liver disease is rampant right now, and a lot of people have it to different degrees and they don't realize it, and that heals as well when you're eating a carnivore diet. Wait, say it one more time. Fatty liver. Fatty liver. But no, it heals. That's it my heals. Point. It heals. You guys know that? It's proven that it heals your liver. Meat, fat. I just, well, we just lost a friend that actually lost his battle from um, fatty, fatty liver, liver disease, not alcoholic. And he had no idea. I mean, so you need to get yourself checked out for that. And, it, and if he would have known it was reversible, if he would have known anything was wrong, he probably would have went to the doctor and got something fixed out or maybe saw Carrie's thing. And Yeah, I want to add one thing on. So unexpected benefit. My gut is completely healed. Jen's gut is healed. Now, I won't say completely because some of that gut bacteria, there's die off periods. There's some people that have severe autoimmune disorders where it can take two years where maybe you took some harsh antibiotics or maybe you ingested a ton of glyphosate. Glyphosate's an antibiotic and that wrecks a lot of the gut bacteria in your gut. Well, after after 30 days, after three months, after six months, after a year, after two years, there's different die-offs. So my gut isn't fully healed yet, but it will be, I, I believe, after two years. But it is healed way more than it's ever been my entire life and I can feel it. And the other thing that's incredible with our guts is unexpected benefit-wise, I couldn't feel my gut. After I started doing carnivore, I'm like, I don't feel my stomach anymore. This heavy, sick feeling that I've always had, this aches, always this bloated feeling is gone. I mean, it literally feels like there's just nothing here anymore. Like my gut is just gone. Well, you always had... IBS. Well, yeah, but I'm saying when I would sleep next to him when we're sleeping in bed together, his stomach would make the craziest... Gurgling and bubbling terrible. and farting 500 I mean, like, times a okay? day. Yes, farting. So I don't like talking about farting, uh, but he probably 95% I mean, quit of actual farting. And I'm talking about nasty. Topo Chico makes me fart a little bit still, but not the 500 times I was before. No. It's, and they were it deadly is, before. It, it was bad, yes. So that's also another thing. His stomach was, it, it sounded painful. It was it's, painful. Every time I ate, I was in pain. It hurt all the time. And what did the doctor tell you? Uh, take this medicine. Take this medicine, take, uh, yeah. I, a Pepsi, I think it was. No, he had me on Pepsi, he had me on... Uh... Oh, oh, no, I was on that one too, though. Uh, the, the, the proton pump inhibitor. I can't think of the name of it right now. For, for uh, stomach acid. I was on all of those for years and years, and I never fixed it. I just continued taking them. Shouldn't yeah. you shouldn't have fixed it? All right, Maybe. what else you got? Unexpected Maybe. benefits, Jen. I'm, I'm handing it back to you now. Um... Okay, energy. Energy is through the roof. Before, I was lazy. I'm still a little, not much. Can I argue? Jeez. You weren't lazy. You were sick. Well, thank you. How, how, I, I hate it when people tell people that are overweight and sick that they need to exercise to mm. lose weight. 
You don't tell someone that has the flu or that's sick or that's got depression, anxiety, their heart's barely working, they're fatigued. Go exercise. That's a fruitless task. Sorry, go ahead. Yeah, so my energy has been running rampant. Is that the way to say it? It's been going crazy. Like I used to go to sleep. I used to literally, I'm just going to be embarrassed saying that, but whatever. I literally used to go to sleep eight or nine o'clock at night, right? Oh yeah. I would, sometimes, and then I would, sometimes you'd nap before then too. Yeah. I would literally go to sleep because I was so tired and I would wake up late. So I would have 12, 15 hours of sleep and I thought there was something wrong with me obviously there was but it was just the food i was eating sometimes when you eat food it makes you sleepy right like after they say after thanksgiving you get tired why is that because your stomach's so full it needs time to process i'm hardly eating anything i maybe eat one meal a day so my body doesn't have to process a bunch of crap plus i'm eating just meat so it doesn't have to process all the sugar and carbohydrates and all that think about so when you used to energy, sleep that much yeah you would think Oh, there's something wrong with my thyroid. Oh, maybe I have cancer. Oh, there's something wrong with me. Uh, there's some genetic thing. No, you were just eating a whole bunch of toxic, horrible food all day long. So my energy is through the roof. I go to bed late. I actually go to bed after him. He, he falls asleep watching a movie. I'll finish watching the movie. I'll wake up earlier in the day. I'll, I don't nap anymore. Um, I'm just, I look forward to each day. I take it as a blessing that I wake up in the morning, that I'm still here. Um, I'm just, I'm, I'm happier too. So, I'm that's gonna a huge thing. pass it back to me, Jen. <laughs> Go ahead, Carrie, what's yours? So, I'm gonna transition from what Jen just said, being happier too. Biggest, biggest, biggest unexpected benefit of carnivore. I was so depressed. Quick interruption. Thank you so much for watching. If you're interested in learning more about our documentary, Healing Humanity, The Power of a Proper Human Diet, or Supporting It, please visit donate.healinghumanity.movie. Our goal is to reach millions of people that are hopeless right now and sharing the examples of real people over the course of one year that are undertaking a proper human diet to overcome obesity, type 2 diabetes, depression, anxiety, fertility issues. We couldn't do it without you. We thank Thank you so much. We are also selling these shirts, Healing Humanity, The Power of Proper Human Diet. Every penny we get from those goes towards the documentary. And last, we have memberships. If you click the little join button, it's best to do it on desktop. Under any one of my YouTube videos, you can join and become a member. We have hundreds of members right now. We do members only videos. We do members only behind the scenes. You can email me as a member and I'll answer you. Um, and every penny from that goes to support the documentary. And the last thing is we have these Redmond's portable salt shakers. These things are awesome. You can get the best salt. You can take it with you. We sell these on the website along with our water bottles and cutting boards and every penny from all of those goes 100% towards supporting the documentary. You can also sign up for our newsletter, which is completely free. All of these links are in the description below. Thank you so much for your support. Now back to today's video. I'm so anxious, I would have given anything, not to be happy, just to be normal. I used to get jealous of people. I remember we'd have like family get togethers and there'd be certain people that come in and they're just full of joy. And I, I remember being so sad thinking, I will never feel that joy. But man, if I could just be flatline, normal, baseline, not suicidally, clinically depressed, I would have given anything for that. And on carnivore, this is no exaggeration. It is the opposite. It's like Jen just said, I wake up every day full of gratitude. There is something with carnivore and gratitude because I have interviewed so many carnivores now and they're all full of gratitude. I'm thankful, grateful, blessed, like I want for nothing. It's crazy. It is amazing and it is how I believe all humans should be and would be if they were just not chronically poisoning themselves. Literally, like I wake up, I look out, I look at all these little leaves and trees and everything. I'm just, I'm thankful for everything, everything. It's incredible. That's the way we should live. Not wanting for more and more or always being dissatisfied or always looking on the negative. I'm always looking on the positive and uh, never, never would have expected that. Like I was hoping to maybe no longer be a suicidally depressed, that would be great, but to be the on the opposite end of the spectrum and just fully happy, full of joy, full of gratitude. Like those people I mentioned earlier that I used to see that are full of joy. Like I'm never gonna be like that. I could never imagine it. And now I am like that. I feel like that. It, that's incredible. Totally unexpected. What else you got? Well, I would not be on camera. I, I would always be very quiet, very shy. I was always a very shy person. 
Now, if I see somebody, I can just walk up to them and start talking to them, and I've never had that before. Um, I was actually talking to some friends of ours, I'm sorry, talking to some friends of ours, actually, that live right next to the theater. They're absolutely amazing. They're um, setting it up. They're doing an Airbnb. Anyways, really good friends of ours. I would have never went to their house before. We probably talked for a good two and a half hours. I would have never done that before. I would have been like, oh, hi, how's it going? Okay, bye. And he's 90% carnivore now, too, by the and way. And he's 90% carnivore. That's another story. She, she, she looks amazing, too. She likes her vegetables, but she looks very amazing. Um, but yeah, Carrie, he wants to go on. You guys might meet him sometime. Carrie, he wants to go on Carrie's um, YouTube and do a live with you. Uh, he's got a lot to talk about. He knows doctors that do carnivore. Uh, not Dr. Barry, not, not the normal ones that we know. He actually knows another doctor that, that talks that does carnivore. But anyways, my point is, is I'm more joyful. I can go up to somebody and talk to them and have a conversation. I went over to their house and I was like, I felt like you. I kept having to apologize. I'm like, oh my gosh, I'm still talking about carnivore. I'm so sorry. <laughs> but he liked it. He's like, no, 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 that's okay. I, I want to know more about it. I want to hear about it. And I'm like, I was always like, before I was carnivore, Carrie, shut up. Yeah, you owe me an Carrie, apology. shut up. No, I don't, don't want to hear it anymore. Now you see? So now I have the energy to talk to people about it. You know, we had a meetup a couple of weeks ago. I was talking to everybody. You know, it was amazing. And it was, there was people there that did carnivore for years. There was people there that was just learning how to do carnivore. Um, so it was a, a big change for me. So I think that's really amazing. Back to you, Carrie. Back to me. I'm going to transition off of what Jen said, and this is a, one, another one. Like, I keep thinking of these, and they're bigger. One of the biggest unexpected benefits of carnivore are is the community, the friendships. Mm -hmm. You told me this before, and you weren't being mean. This is the truth. I had no friends before carnivore. Right. Now I have tons of friends. You have too many. I, and I love all these people. Yes. I, I'm not hyping this up or anything. There is something... When you meet other like-minded individuals, like, other carnivores, other people who found healing, healing. She hates it when I say it that way. Healing humanity. Healing humanity. Oh, when you find other people that have found healing and they're passionate and they just want other people to experience that same healing they did, it's incredible. I've met so many amazing individuals and become friends with so many people. Never in a million years would I have thought that. We moved out to our 20 acre homestead, Why? out in the middle of the woods. For Why? What? Because I wanted to get away from people. <laughs> yes, I didn't want to be near anybody. Did. I didn't want to have any neighbors. I wanted to hermit up in my house yep. and be away from everybody. Yes. Now it's the polar opposite. I want to be by everyone. We're inviting people into our house. We're inviting people into our theater. We're doing looking. meetups. So that has been one crazy unexpected benefit of carnivore. Carnivore. Yeah. All right, we should wrap this up because this is getting along and the phone's going to overheat again. Yes, we have more to say, so stay tuned. We'll probably do another video for you guys. Leave some comments down below. What what has carnivore changed in you? Have you started carnivore? Are you thinking about carnivore? Who do you know that does carnivore? Leave some comments down below. I would love to talk to you. If you guys want to talk to a woman, hit me up. Just like look on home. You can email. It'll go to him and forward it to me. Go to homesteadhow at gmail.com. I will answer any questions that I can. Be a woman if you guys have any questions, if you want to talk to me. I am totally open to anything, whatever questions you may have. Um, like he said, we've made so many friends. So um, he got me going. I don't, I don't shut up. So you so, guys told me to stop. Since stop. Since. Okay, so I want to end with one thing. We keep saying carnivore, carnivore, carnivore. This is my other big epiphany, and I want everyone to hear this. There's people out there right now that are thinking, I want to have healing like Jen did. I want to have healing like Carrie did. I want to be down 100 pounds. I want to feel better. But they're scared because we keep saying carnivore, carnivore, carnivore. I want this to be clear. Jen and I didn't heal simply because we ate some magical food item called meat. That's not why we healed. Why we healed is because we returned to what is natural for humans. And humans have been eating meat for as long as we've been. And regardless of eating meat, for as long as we've been breathing air and drinking water. In this day and age, in this very moment, given 60,000 products in the grocery store that are all toxic and they're all poisonous and they're all full of sugars and seed oils and ingredients that are illegal in other countries, meat is the cleanest food we can eat. If you're thinking about doing this, don't say I'm just gonna eat meat for 30 days. Say I'm gonna eliminate everything else for 30 days. I'm gonna do a strict elimination diet just for 30 days and you can do anything for 30 days. There's nothing special about me 
or Jen, we don't have some crazy willpower or anything like that. We just did it and you can do it. Everyone can do this. You deserve to feel as good as Jen and I do at least for one day or at least for 30 days of your life. Your life is gonna go by in the blink of an eye and God forbid you wake up and you're taking your last breaths and your heart is beating its last beats and you're almost ready to die and you've never truly felt what it's like to live with no brain fog, no fatigue, none of these aches and pains and ailments and issues that everyone has over and over again. You don't know what you don't know. That's all I'm gonna say. You can't see the fog while you're in the fog. You deserve to get out of it. If you guys wanna learn more about what we're doing, I'm filming a documentary called Healing Humanity, the power of a proper human diet, where we're following real people around who are adhering to a proper natural human diet for one year, several people for one year, and we filmed 30 people, 30 plus people, including the good doctors right now. We couldn't do it without you guys. If you wanna support our documentary, please visit donate.healinghumanity.movie. If you buy our shirts, our Healing Humanity shirts, our bracelets, our Redmond salt shakers, or if you join uh, our group, every penny from that goes to support our documentary. And, and, and last thing I gotta say, we have a new membership site that is incredible. It's called healinghumanity.life. It's, you have to pay for this service, but most of the proceeds go towards the documentary and the rest go to support the amazing team that's putting this together. We have been doing three calls per week. Uh, a Q&A, an expert call where we have these good doctors on like Dr. Chafee, Dr. Kiltz, Dr. Hampton. Uh, inspire together call. Our goal with this is to hold your hand and help you get through this and it's to inspire you and it's to answer your questions with good doctors. We have a whole bunch of courses in the membership site. I just finished our carnivore foundations course. We have a liver detox course. There's tons of courses you can take at your own pace. This could change your life forever. You're living in a world where we're the odd ones out. So having a community is so important. So that's why we're doing this. There's a special offer in the description below, healinghumanity.life. Check it out in the description below. Thank you guys so much for watching. Now you say thank you and then say peace. Thanks guys. Ooh.